Hello, welcome to Trackmate Racing. My name is Daniel, and I'm going to show you the bracket racing software where you can drag race a couple of hundred cars. Um, so let's start with uh, the workflow. So the first thing you want to do is go to the database. So I'll show you how to get there. Click on database, racers and cars. And here you have the list of all racers. <clears throat> so you can add more racers. And if I click here, it gives me a list of cars that they own. I could also double click at the top here, get my list of racers in alphabetical order. So it makes it easy to find who you're looking for. I could also double click here to sort uh, by the amount of cars in the bracket race. So that also makes it easy to uh, verify that uh, that you have the cars in the bracket that you're expecting. I'm just going to quickly show you how to add a name. So for example, we can add uh, Steve, hit enter, then go over here, make sure you select Steve here and have Steve showing up here. Now you can enter cars, just click here. For example, hit enter. So now we have Steve entered and one car. <clears throat> In order to select the cars for the bracket race, just click on the name. <clears throat> you can check, well, I'll start off from the beginning here. Click on a name, put a check mark, and select the cars that are going to be in the bracket race. So here we already have four selected. And you can, you know, you can change that around if you want. <clears throat> so let's add uh, for this demo, we're going to have uh, three racers. And I'm going to reduce the uh, number of cars for Alan here. So that's going to be... I'm going to make it an odd even, uh, odd number of cars because I want to show you the buy run. Okay, so now we have three racers, nine cars. It's indicated at the top here. Three racers in bracket, cars in bracket, nine. And then once you've selected all the cars, all the racers for the bracket racing, you click create bracket. And this is where the magic happens. Click that. Boom, there you go. There's your list of cars in the bracket race. Here we have the column that indicates the race number. Uh, this blue one here is because this car will have a buy run. This car will not be ra racing in this round, it's a buy run. Okay, now that we got that done, we put this in bracket mode here. Click this, click next race, start. Uh, let me reduce the screen size here, move it over so you can see it in the video. And there's the results. Click OK. Click Next. Start race. Results. And if you want to redo the race, you can do that. Just click Start again. You, know, you can redo the same race for whatever reason. Click Next. Start race. And also you see that the it indicates the winner in green, the losers in yellow. <clears throat> One more race. And now it's uh, finish. And now you have the opportunity to do a buyback for all the losers. So I can do, or you can do individually by clicking on it like this. But we're going to do for all of them by clicking here. Now we have a buyback for all the losers. And then we can click next round. Next round. Next race. Click start. And let's just fast forward here. Okay, we're done this round. 
We're going to go to the, if you click next race, it will warn you, no races left in this round. So we go to the next round. Now we have less racers, but we still have a buy. He's in blue, that's a buy. Next round. I mean, next race. Get the results. Uh, by the way, on this program, the results screen, you can move it over to your other screen if you want. So or we'll just leave it here for now. Okay, we're done that. So we go to the next round. And notice also, I forgot to mention that the racers uh, don't race against themselves, don't race against the same opponent, unless it's mathematically impossible. You can redo the race. Uh, the names are entered automatically, as you saw, and you have the ability to do buybacks after each round. And you can restart the bracket where you left off, and no data will be lost. So if I was to close this program and restart it, I can continue exactly where I left off. Okay, let's continue on. Next, uh, next race. No, I didn't. I clicked next round there. Gave me a warning. Next race. And start race. Next race. No, there's no races left. Okay, so now we do next round. Next race. And now we have a winner. <clears throat> That's it. Another thing I wanted to mention is in the database, it's, uh, it's pretty convenient that the following week, you, it still remembers who was in the race. So, if, so you just need to make a few adjustments. If it's usually the same guys showing up, you just check and uncheck whoever showed up, who didn't show up. And that's it. It makes it pretty quick. You don't have to re-enter car names. You don't have to re-enter racer names. Uh, another thing I forgot is uh, you got dial-in here. So uh, you, it will remember the dial-ins. Uh, you can just type in your dial-in the first time. The next time the car comes around, it will remember the dial-in. have any questions, just uh, shoot me an email. Check out the website, trackmateracing.com. Catch you later.